Welcome again to Reflections, um, to a new week. Um, I, and this week we will be looking at who we work with. But first I want to just um, um, commiserate with all of our Haitian um, um, friends and sisters, brothers, um, and let's just continue to lift Haiti up in prayer. It's a very difficult time in that nation. Let's continue to pray for stability. Let's continue to pray for mercy. Let's just ask that God's own people would um, come into leadership in Haiti and that the comforts of the Holy Spirit will be with all our Haitian brethren, um, both in Haiti and in the diaspora, wherever they are, that um, the God of heaven will give grace, grace to just hold up that their nation in prayer and in intercession. And I think that's what all of us need to do for our various nations. Believe me, the nations of the world are going through a very, very rough time. Um, it's as if hell itself has, has let loose its, its, all its forces against the nations of the earth. And it's no surprise. I don't want you to think that this is, um, this is um, novel or that it's a surprise. No, because the word of God had predicted it way, way, way before, saying that when it comes to the end times, that the things that will happen, the kind of news that we will be hearing will make our very hearts quick for fear. But thank God, because God has not given his, I mean, it, not us, will make the heart of men quick for fear. But thank God that for the children of God, we have no reason to be afraid because he has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind, a sound mind, a sound mind to remain focused when every other thing seems to be going awry. If a, a sound mind to, full of wisdom to know what to do when every other person is in confusion. So my brothers and sisters, um, all of you who join me on Reflections, this is the time for godly wisdom. We need to begin to ask God that God will give us wisdom to be able to navigate the seasons that we are in so that we continue to be good witnesses of the gospel of Jesus and that we are able to, to bear witness to those who do not know God so that they will come to a place of peace and a place of salvation. Salvation above every other thing. Without salvation, there can be no peace. Salvation of the soul where Christ Jesus has become your Lord and personal Savior. That is the only way you can have true peace because peace is of God. Jesus is, is our peace. He is the one who has paid the full price for our peace. So we are going to our reflections for the week now. And this week I want to talk about walk with me. Come, it's an invitation. Come walk with me. And reflections truly has been a journey. We are, all of you who join me on a regular basis have been taking a walk with me. And today again, I want to reaffirm that, that, um, that, that invitation by asking you to come walk with me. When you turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 5, Genesis chapter 5, verse, 20, verse um, 24, the Bible says that Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. Enoch walked with God and he was not because God took him. Who are you walking with? God is inviting you to take a walk with him. When we walk with God, it's a walk of righteousness. It's a walk of truth. You cannot walk with God and live a life of lies. You cannot walk with God and live a life that is unholy. You cannot walk with God and live an unrighteous life. We are told in Genesis 4, verse 5, verse 24, that Enoch walked with God. Walked, W-A-L-K-E-D. He took a walk with God. He continued to walk with God. And he kept, he kept the company of God. Or he, he, he made up his mind to be in God's company. 
And that relationship was so strong, that relationship was so real, that relationship was so powerful that God just took him. God just took him. He did not die. He just walked with God and he was gone. He was just gone. There's an invitation to you today to begin a walk with God. When you walk with God, believe me, you will not die. And when I say you will not die, I'm not talking about physical death because the body will fall away at some point, but your spirit will continue to live and live forever. Therefore, God is inviting you to come walk with him, walk with God. Whatever it is you've been doing up to this point, it is time for you to take an inventory of your life and make up your mind. I'm going to walk with God. And as I said, it's a walk of righteousness. It's a walk of holiness. It's a walk of truth. This is not the time to compromise. This is the time to make up your mind and walk with God in righteousness, in truth, in holiness. Because when you walk with God, you walk in victory, you walk in dominion, you walk in peace, you walk in health, you walk in joy, you walk in the kingdom of God. You are taking a walk in the city of the Most High God. God is inviting you. All these other things that are going on all around us, they are mere distractions. As I usually say, it is all a sideshow. It's a sideshow. You know when you go to a movie in those days before COVID, when you go into the movie theater, they first show you all kinds of little, little snippets, trailers, you know, adverts, things like that. It is not the real movie you went to watch. And then after a few minutes, maybe five, ten minutes, the movie comes on the screen. <laughs> Your life is an eternal life. We have not even started to play the real movie yet. All these things that you are seeing all around, that you are chasing after, it's all the sideshow. They are all sideshows. And if you are not careful, the sideshow will distract you from the main show. The main show is walking with God. So please put aside all the, he did this to me, she did this to me, he did that to me, they did that to me, uh, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that, and just focus on the main show. All the other things are the little, little things that come along our way, they are life. And like I always say, life happens, but don't let the happening of life derail you from the real life. Enoch walked with God and was not because God took him. God is the ultimate. God is the ultimate in your life. Make sure you walk with him. And any other thing that tries to take you away from his side step by step, as you go with him step by step, just shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Keep going with him so that you don't get lost in the crowd. You know, when we walk in a crowd with, our, with little children, what do you do? You hold on tight to them. Because in the middle of the crowd, before you know it, that child is gone. And that child is lost. And you begin to look for that child. We are those little children. And God wants to hold us, but we have to hold on tight to him so that we don't get lost in the crowd. He can always find us, but you don't want to get lost in the crowd. So walk with God completely, totally walk with God. And you're going to be all right, believe me. Again, of course, bringing you your hope pill for today, uh, that word of encouragement, that good news, that you will be okay. It's Fumio Bilano on Reflections. Remember, join me again tomorrow for another session.